and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I had the absolute pleasure of doing Richarlison, the SBC. I mean, it looks incredible. I mean, his pace, fantastic. Shooting looks sublime. Now, I powered it up with the Maestro chemistry style just to boost a little bit of uh, shooting here and there and a bit of physicality, a bit of dribbling as well. But listen, this card, the dribbling looks out of this world. His physicals are pretty decent. Of course, he's going to come with that Prem tax, of course. But he's got the five star week for the four star skills. And Reach Harlison. Some people call him the cheap R9. And this guy is virtually bold as well. But listen, R R9 and Reach Harlison, I always have the honor, the privilege of using these kind of cards every year. And Reach Harlison is a must for me. I just love Reach Harlison. When I first used this card, I kind of used him as a secondary striker to the great Johan Cruyff until I kind of knew what this guy was made out of. And let me tell you who's passing, wow, brilliant. Very good secondary striker. He can pass the ball in a fine thread that he drills just as Johan Cruyff and Johan Cruyff getting that ball at the back and then it fantastic stuff from him. Now, I thought the best thing about this card, hands down, has to be his dribbling. His dribbling is incredible. I found defenders on I, yeah, rich, 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 like, I can't even speak. They were like, whoa, 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 whoa. They were like virtually on ice skates. They were like, you know, rip, 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 rip. it was a bit like, uh, you know, like a DJ. They were like, this, there, this, there, you know, here and there. This guy's got the dribbling from heaven. He really has got that fantastic, fantastic dribbling. Couple with a five star week for This guy is a phenomenal striker in the game. Yeah, he scored plenty of goals for me. He was always in position. He was fast. I don't think he was that expensive to do. He was an 84, 85, 86, 87. I mean, that isn't that much money for this kind of card. You're getting. Is that a bit disrespectful to call him the cheap R9? I don't think it is. He is really the cheap R9. I mean, he doesn't have the five star skills, but he has the five star weak foot, and he bangs them in more time more times than uh, than than he misses. However, I did see one thing about this card. I don't know whether it's his shot powered or something. There were a few opportunities where I was kind of kind of frustrated with this card. I thought, you know what? He did miss me uh, a few opportunities that definitely hurt me. I mean. I'm a huge fan of Richarlison and I've always found him to be extremely clinical with that five star weak foot. However, however, he wasn't as clinical as I wanted. But there's, uh, I can't really fault this card in any other facet of the game because pace, fantastic. Okay, shooting, I just said it was a bit inconsistent. His finishing was a bit inconsistent. Don't dribbling and passing, he had that. He was fantastic and physicals. I had no issues with it. I mean, heading, he got me a few headers when I was trying to do Emerson SPC. So uh, I was trying to do Emerson Shapeshifter 93 rated card, who looks brilliant, by the way. Uh, I was trying to do his SPC. And listen, this card, just wow. I'm a huge fan of it. Would I do him? Absolutely, I'd do him. Absolutely, I'd do this card. With a heartbeat, I'll do this card. I think he's one of them kind of cards that, with the Brazilian link, being in the Premier League, you can fit him around so many amazing players and he'll just do a job for you in that striker position. He will do a job for you. And like I said, the best thing about this card is his dribbling. Now, where would I place this card? Where would I Where would I say he belongs? Now, I wouldn't say he's, R9, you know, he's on R9's level, but I will say he's good value for coins. I'm going to give him a 9.5 for value for coins and an overall rating of a 9.4 out of 10. I think this card is very, very good. What lets him down? I have to say what lets this guy down was his, he wasn't as clinical as, a lot, uh, clinical as I thought. This guy could have pushed for me, doubled the amount of goals. I think for every chance, for every two chances he was getting one in, she was like 50% accurate when it comes to scoring goals. That might be one of the beauties of goalkeepers right now, but can I just say, Bypassing the defensive line right now, we've got players like Chiellini, you've got that Koulibaly, you've got team this season, Marquinhos, you've got Van Dijk, you've got people playing right back and left back in centre back. When you're through, you've got to have a striker that buries it. You just have to. You just have to. I mean, don't get me wrong, this guy will be staying in my team. I might partner him up with the R9 Primer, we could see what happens, or maybe Primer I can moments Pele if I get a bit lucky. But listen, I'm not going to complain about this card whatsoever. I thought he was a very good card. He uh, he definitely did a job. But I just would say, downside of this card, finishing. 
I don't know why he's um, a little bit inclinic why he wasn't very clinical, but that's maybe a year's part or I don't know what is going on. Maybe goalkeepers have suddenly become amazing and they have been for the duration of this year. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.